Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about an open window being a perfect absorber. Well, why is that? Let's talk about that. Here's our window. Here's our sound source here. Okay. Here's our open window. Energy leaves through the window, goes out into space, and does not come back. Not this energy. Maybe amp other energy from outside does, but not this energy. So it's perfect in the fact that it leaves, goes through the open window and leaves our room and never comes back. So what is the definition of absorption? What are we trying to do? We're trying to do an energy transformation. We're trying to take the process and create friction. So that friction produces heat, which produces loss. Okay. So we go from uh, airborne to friction, to heat, to loss. So if you have cells in your foam, the no energy goes into the cells and goes around the cell here, and then hopefully not much of it comes out, but some will at certain frequency. So it's this interaction of the energy within each cell that gives you the friction, which causes the heat, which causes the energy transformation or loss of that energy. So. Uh, we have to be uh, cognizant of our definitions here. So that's why I say an open window is a perfect absorber because sound goes through it and doesn't come back. Same with our products that we create. We try to create a particular rate and level of absorption with the product because that rate and level of absorption is directly related to what room surface we apply it on. And the most critical surface is those side walls. The rate level absorption, excuse me, on those side walls must be controlled and managed correctly. And you want the kind of absorption curve on your product that you're using that's smooth. You don't want this. You don't want this. You want something that's smooth, more conducive, more in line with the way we hear. Absorbing the right amount at the right frequency, not over absorbing any one particular frequency. So, the application of sound absorption technology on the particular room surface at the proper rate and level will get you your acoustic result. Okay, so we have what? Three types of energy that we have to deal with, low, middle, and high frequency. Low is always the problem because we're dealing with big waves. So we're dealing with big waves. So we need big technology to stop big waves. You need lots of mass. You need lots of density. And you need a science that reacts to pressure. Okay. Very important. We have the three types, diaphragmatic, Helmholtz, and membrane. And we've gone through those numerous times. I won't touch on them today. Membrane is the cousin of diaphragmatic. Helmholtz is a completely different animal, more frequency specific. The mids and highs we usually control with limp mass materials, your foams, your... I hate to say this, but you're building insulations and things like that. Anything that has an impact on molecular velocity as it, the molecules of, of the air move through the limp mass material, create the friction, create the heat, which makes the energy uh, transform. So completely different energies, completely different techniques, and uh, so absorption is a real popular uh, technology that we use today constantly. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, acousticfields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured, and I guarantee you your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.